The Moondrop Space Travel is a great product. But more than that, they're significant because what they've done is announce that real, meaningful change is coming to the true wireless market. Khudidakh, we're DHRME. Definitely hearing really means everything. Can't disagree. So let's start with what these are. True wireless earbuds with active noise cancelling for 25 bucks. That sentence hasn't been said very often and definitely not of products which are of reasonable quality. So let's dive into this product, break it down and see where we are and whether these are worth buying and what they mean for the market. Active noise cancelling, that's the headlining feature. So let's start there. To begin with, I did not expect top tier ANC here at $25, I really did not. And I didn't get it either, which is fine. So they kind of met my expectations. We would put them in a tier D. Um, now, going with those expectations, as long as I'm not expecting to be blanketed in complete quietude, I think these are decent because I walked around, you know, at the grocery store, it was a bit noisy, it turned on noise cancelling and everything kind of dropped a bit. And that's the kind of experience you can expect with these. No elimination, but more like reduction. What did surprise me was the transparency. Tier B, solid tier B guys, because you can literally do a conversation with these in your ear in transparency mode. They do focus more on the mids and the voices, so the bass is kind of cut out a little bit. So the levels could be comparable to you, you know, not having earbuds in your ear, but a bit lower. Everything is a bit lower than that. So in a pinch for a short conversation, I would definitely use these. What does it do for white noise? Because a lot of earbuds, when you put transparency on, you get this kind of hiss, which is, you know, the, the DSP actually trying to amplify the surroundings. So there is white noise for sure, but I would say they're more medium, you know. It's not terrible where you kind of feel like after a couple of minutes, okay, in a quiet space, all I'm hearing is hiss, I need to take these out. Absolutely possible, I could have these in my ears for a couple of hours on transparency and not be bothered by it in a quiet place. So that's the first feature that I was really surprised by and the surprises keep coming, guys. Now, one thing I do want to say before I move on to the build and, and the buzz themselves and the sound is that uh, switching noise cancelling takes about three or four seconds so you hold it down on the bud and then <laughs> the waifu makes a weird mm, hey or whatever sound really creepy and then it switches to noise cancelling or transparency another thing is uh, there is no way to do that in the app so the app doesn't show you active noise cancelling transparency modes at least the app I have and I'll come to the app in a bit but that was a bit weird so you have to do it from the buzz Now let's, let's talk about the physical design of these earbuds. I think they've done a stellar job. Space travel, stellar. Huh? Huh? So I think they've done a stellar job with these because they look quite nice, so unique, you know, for, you wouldn't say like these are the cheapest wireless earbuds. They don't look like a generic set of black earbuds in a black case. So kudos to uh, Moondrop on that. They've put some thought into this design. It has this single LED up front, not a color blind friendly indicator, but you know, a USB type C port at the bottom. And the buds come in this kind of transparent case on top. Uh, one thing that is really weird about this is like, how do you take the buds out? Because A, there is no lid. So they're kind of magnetically attached. So the best I came up with was to push the buds from the sides and push them up. And then they kind of pop out of the case and you put them back down in the same way. So getting the buds out, I kind of figured because you can't do this, it's very, very difficult to pull them out like that. So you push them up, but putting them back in is a pain because I mean, you have to really align them well and often you get kind of this kind of alignment. So you have to kind of push it back, it works. So the case situation is a bit interesting. What is disappointing and again at $25, I don't know how much we should expect is that there is no water resistance, no dust resistance, nothing nada moondrop confirmed it it wasn't on the site i asked is there anything nope you know don't get too wet or dirty you do get fingerprints on the transparent part so you know that is what it is and the buds look nice in the case but the moment you slide them out of the case and you kind of okay that was the right bud that also happens the left and the right buds are a bit confusing once you pop them into your ear they look super generic and boring do you agree it just looks like a cheap ass airpod <laughs> to be very honest of course it has this printing on it which says space travel and stuff like that but it's not like a subtle design or you know a classy logo or something like that it's just like 
it just looks like tiny characters on the earbuds. When you do put them in your ear, um, that AirPods inspired design or you know the shape really helps. It's a shallow insertion style earbud. So if you're used to AirPods, you know, they've basically, I think 3D scanned it and 3D printed it out. So they're really comfortable in my ear. And the good thing is, I think these thread the balance of comfort and secure fit very well. I think they don't fall out of my ear as easily, but also they don't feel uncomfortable, which is hard to do, I must say. We've tested so many earbuds on this channel and there's not many earbuds that get this right. And that explains why the AirPods shape is so popular. I think people are used to it now, they fit better in your ear and they're relatively secure. So you do get three sizes of tips in the box. Uh, the ones I have on is medium, which came out of the box like that. Stems also provide touch controls. And the touch controls work pretty well. If anything, they were a bit extra sensitive so the single tap would occasionally get tapped you know when you were adjusting the buds other than that i didn't face any problems and they're fully customizable in the app the app can do three things uh, one of them is fully customizing the touch controls unfortunately there are no volume controls here so that's a bit of a bummer otherwise these would definitely be my daily driver because for me volume control on buds is important but other than that the controls you're getting for media for playback for noise control really really good but if you're a fuckman you may not be totally thrilled with the controls because as i said no volume controls on phone calls but also no mute controls nothing of the sort just answer hang up the basics and speaking of fuckman and phone calls let's check out some pop of popsicle ice 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 cool test test testing one two three so what do you think Pretty impressive, right? Like after the Moondrop Alice, I had zero expectations from these microphones, but they really performed. And not just in that test you saw, I also did a quick phone call to Kevin, you know, in that noisy environment with cars around me, with wind blowing in my face. Um, he could hear me well. So I think these should be fine for phone calls. And you know, at this price, I'm pretty happy at what Moondrop has achieved here. And the battery life, you get four hours of battery life as advertised by Moondrop. Now, and a couple of charges from the case and you know four hours is not great to begin with but we had a couple of issues and let's talk about those issues we ran our test we have an app that tests battery life which we kind of created and um, it showed us six hours but that app also logs what's happening you know every minute and we noticed that it got stuck at 60 percent for a good three four hours so there was something definitely wrong with the buds The thing is guys, uh, the right earbuds just goes off randomly. I don't know, just it just goes off, like what's happening? Like, and the left earbud is like, mm, just doing its thing, you know, playing its music, and the right earbud just switched off. And what I figured out was if I long press the right earbud, it would come back on, and the left earbud just continues playing. So it's kind of like this weird connectivity situation, and that's what the problem is with a $25 earbud. Again, no hate here, uh, they've achieved something magnificent but quality control issues unfortunately are going to be there and we also see that with more expensive buds by the way so uh, <laughs> it's not limited to cheaper buds but i did have at least three occasions where my right bud just switched off completely and it wasn't a battery problem so i had battery life because when i switched it back on it was happily continuing playing so that is one of the issues i had qc issues the second issue i have is the app so we did say it can do three things, which is one is customized touch controls. Of course, you can uh, also uh, change some things in the sound. We'll come to the sound in a bit. And the third thing is you can upgrade your firmware or the app. But the app I could not find on the Google Play Store, even though it said it would be. So maybe it's just my location in the Netherlands here. After I tried to download the APK from the website, it said it's time to upgrade your app. And I hit upgrade, it takes me to a completely different website, not even moondrop.com. Um, and that's where I had to download the APK form and that I did and then gave me some errors. So again, the app situation is very, very poor. I think you would be better off on iOS because on iOS, I did find the app for my region. The other issue I have is with the latency because when I was watching YouTube videos, I could see, you know, Instagram reels, it was, yes, that one. Uh, I could notice like, like a half second latency between what was being said and what I was hearing. So that's not great. It does have a low latency mode though, 55 milliseconds, which you can switch to. So that's a good thing. But on normal mode, I would think video should work fine, but it did not. And then this is whole waifu situation. I'm, I don't know, I'm not into that subculture, but I find it annoying when brands do those things and it kind of comes in the way of the experience. So when you 
hold down the earbuds for noise cancelling you get like a hey or a ha or you know those kind of sounds and you have no clue am i going to noise cancelling am i going to transparency what is happening so i would really hope that we have an option to change that to just dings or dongs i rather prefer those and nothing actually uh, or just a simple voice prompt saying noise cancelling on noise cancelling off all right let's talk about the sound that sound guys i'm very very impressed with moondrop come on we all know moondrop can tune your buds iems right we all know that but they've brought that to this price point and that is really something special now these are not perfect but let's start with the bass the bass is the best part about these earbuds and let me be clear they're not like bass head earbuds so they're not giving you unnecessary too much bloated over the top bass they're giving you a lot of bass in, in the first piece set which is called bass head coincidentally but the bass reminds me of the status between 3 ANC and that's quite a compliment because that's one of my favorite sounding true wireless earbuds uh it is tight it is punchy it has just the right decay you know it has just the right oomph i love the bass on these um it's it's not overdone but it is very good the mids also i really enjoyed very very clear good timbre then we come to the treble and there i have some issues not with the tuning mind you the tuning is good so what you see on frequency response charts you know i think that's accurate tuning is good the problem i have is resolution it sounds like you're almost playing a lower quality recording and that's probably because they're using sbc and aac i was listening on aac on my samsung galaxy z fold 4 um and that was not the most high res experience so again it sounds really good if you're out and about walking and you're not critically listening to music i think you'll be satisfied um the tuning is good and if you like you know accurate bass these are really really nice um there's also no more eq customization so you get those three presets the bass head with the most bass the reference with kind of lower bass and the monitor with kind of the least amount of bass everything else stays the same that's also a nice implementation but you cannot tweak anything else uh and i don't i would not blame this on aac alone because uh, i'm i've heard aac earbuds which sound fantastic <coughs> status between 3 ANC so this has something to do with either the components they're using or or how they're interacting with the drivers here so overall great sounding earbuds love the tuning love the bass i just wish they would have a bit more resolution to them but again i'm being very nitpicky for 25 dollars guys i've heard 50 60 70 80 90 dollars earbuds that sound way worse than this so great job moondrop really applause fantastic complete recommend because many of you guys say i don't care about anything but sound so yeah if you don't these are pretty good except for that treble resolution issue i was talking about we started this video by saying that these buds will bring a meaningful change to the true wireless market this is huge Chi-Fi brands have already changed the IEM market. The 2023 Moondrop Space Travel is a sign of things to come. It's only a matter of time. Travel. If you really value our reviews and it's helping you guys make purchase decisions, then think about becoming a member or a patron. Links in the description down below. You've been eating your space. Travel. And we've been DHRME. Namaste. Namaste.